Hello everyone, I'm Architect Jeje Madatu and welcome to our Dialax Masterclass. This is actually a free tutorial on how I recreated this decorative lamp. This is the closer look of it. And I posted this rendering on the Dialax users Facebook group last February 9. And Woomin asked how I recreated this uh, decorative lamp. Originally, this was done on the Dialax 4.13 version, but on this tutorial, I'm going to quickly recreate it on the Dialax Evo since most of you are using the Evo version. And this is actually the actual lighting simulation that I did for an actual hotel project that I've been doing here in the Philippines. And this is a meeting room. This is the interior designer's perspective and normally I usually recreate the room or the whole project closer to the look of the interior designer's intention so that the client can easily visualize the whole ambience of the room or the whole project. So before we start, we are going to need SketchUp software and the Dialax Evo, of course. So this is the interior designer's perspective and this is the design of the decorative lamp that they want to use. So what we're going to do is to search for a decorative lamp that has a closer look or the same design of this one. So normally what I do, I search for good furniture or download good furniture from 3 dwarehouse sketchup.com. You can download free furniture from this website and then open it on SketchUp and then export it as 3ds file and then import that 3ds file on the Dialax. Um, unfortunately, I could no longer find the SketchUp file that I used, but good thing that I still have the SketchUp file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide a link on the description on where you can download the SketchUp file or the 3ds file so that you could use that on this tutorial. Now let's open the SketchUp file. Now what we're going to do here is to clean up this 3D file and remove these 3D lumps because we're not going to need this and it will only take a lot of space for our Dialax file. And as for the lump, we are going to use an actual Luminar plugin for this one. So let's clean up this file. Explode. Explode, explode, and then explode again. And then let's delete this glass and the lumps. Now we're done cleaning up the file, we're going to select all the objects and then group it and then let's export this as 3ds file. Now let's open the dialog software and then import the 3ds file. Let's check if this file was done in millimeters. Yeah, it was done in millimeters. So let's resize the 3ds file into meters. So instead of 897 meters, let's resize it to 0 0.897, 615 to 0 0.615. 5 to 1 to 0 0.5 to 1 
And then let's move it onto our room. And then let's move it onto our ceiling. And let's probably resize this for a bigger size just for the tutorial so you could easily see what's going on at the moment. The next step, we are going to attach a lamp onto this decorative light. Actually, I used a, an Artemide plugin because I want to have this round or circular glowing effect on this decorative light. So let's import a plugin from Artemide. And then we're going to use this plugin. Let's close. Okay, let's move this onto the decorative light. And then let's manually rotate this lump according to the angle of this uh, branch of the decorative light. And then let's duplicate this Luminar plugin onto the rest of the branch of this decorative lamp. Okay, and for the last branch, okay, now finally we're done attaching the lump onto this decorative light. Let's calculate this file and then let's do some ray tracing onto this decorative light okay let's try to render this uh, 
Okay. Now there you have it. We have this customized decorative lamp. So that's it for now. So I'll see you on the next episode. I hope that you have learned something from this tutorial on how to recreate a decorative pendant lamp. I'll see you. So, if you want to learn, master, and create reality with your lighting simulations, you can watch our series of video tutorials onto our Patreon accounts. Links are written on the description below. You can follow our social media accounts. Feel free to subscribe and click that notification bell to get real-time updates on the upcoming episodes of our Dialogues Masterclass. I'll see you.